That's cool, a little bit high, but it's okay. What's up, y'all? Team Howard Outdoors here. Just about got this bow shooting like I wanted to shoot. About a month and a half away from opening weekend archery season here. And we just gonna keep it. Today I'm gonna talk to y'all about ground blinds. Particular ground blinds I use, hub style blinds. Now they got several types of ground blinds out there. And people call these different things. Pop-up tents, all kind of stuff that people call these. But we're just gonna refer to them as ground blinds, okay? My first time opening this up, as a matter of fact, it's a pretty cool blind, check it out. Come with the bag here, nice carrying bag, backpack style. Make it easy to pack in and out the woods. Go ahead and I'll strap this. Nice zipper, got a lot of different compartments on here to store all your gear. And I'm gonna give y'all some tips about the best ways, one of the quicker ways to pop these up. It's not hard. There's a couple of things I want you to keep in mind though with these pop-up blinds. <clears throat> The very first thing you're gonna wanna do when you get it out, you wanna handle these very gently. It's gonna take a little time to start unwinding this, so to speak. If you notice all these sides, they look alike. This, look like this, so on and so forth. It can get kind of confusing. Matter of fact, I have popped this open before. See, I've already marked my top. But it's the first thing you want to do when you pop these up for the first time. Uncle DC recommend put some kind of marker on these to signify where the very top of the blind is. It may take a little time depending on your style of blind, but I've already marked mine. And you're going to have to use your legs. You're going to have to use your knees, your hips. Remember, Uncle DC is about 5'11", minus 5 inches or so. So for you taller people, it probably won't be as hard. But I'm gonna use my knees to try to keep these other poles out the way. And if you can come in, come in real quick, you're gonna see this, this part where I marked the top there, that ribbon. See, I got that on there to tell me that's the top. This is the part that I wanna pull out first. But that's all we're gonna simply do is pull this top out, then we'll go around and pull out all the sides. So once you found your top, you got it marked with whatever you wanna use. I mean, I use this ribbon. You're gonna go ahead with these tabs, kind of bracing my knees against these walls here. Go ahead and with my arms, go ahead and pull it out. Okay? It's the most important thing right there, we got the top up. And we'll come around to whichever side from here on out you wanna go with. Here's the next tab, just like the top or the roof. We'll go ahead and using our body, knees hips and thighs, holding this top out the way. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this all the way out. So you can see it pop out like that. Come around the side, same thing all the way around. Now go ahead and kind of brace a little bit with my arms. Next tab, pull that out. Let out. Got one more side. Pull this out. Now that's all it takes to put your pop-up blind upright. Of course, this comes with stakes. You're gonna want to stake this down for high wind conditions. But I'm gonna give y'all a couple of tips on things that I do when I set up my ground blind. The first thing is you want to do what we're doing now. You want to take time at the house. Go ahead and pop this up. Like I say, find that top, mark it. Get familiar with your windows, the way everything operates. I see these have mesh. They call it shoot through mesh. Some of my ground blinds, I leave this on. Some of it I take off. It's actually made for you to shoot through, whether it's your gun or your archery equipment. I don't shoot through it. You know, some of them I take off, but a lot of them I like to just slide out the way, you know? And you also notice here, this part of the blind has no windows. But this is where your entry point is on this particular blind. This is your door. 
to get in and out of this blind. This is your back. This is the back of the blind. That's why it doesn't have a window. So typically when you're in these, you're gonna wanna sit back to the back part of the blind versus in front of the blind. So it's a cool blind. It's got a lot of room. I won't get into the name of it or where I got it from or anything like that. But this is just an instructional video to show you guys how to pop these up. Again, this is a hub style blind. I use these, I got maybe five or six of these. They're great. Um, I go ahead and spray. I spray these with some weatherproof type of stuff. Um, they got a lot of different brands. Again, I won't name the particular one that I use, but I definitely spray this down to kind of water. I won't say waterproof because it doesn't waterproof it, but it kind of helps resist the water. You know, when you're in these, they really, really help with high wind situations, light drizzles to light rain, not heavy rain, storms, anything like that. These won't won't have, um, hold up to that. But these have a place in the woods, folks. You know, the way that I like to hunt is up high. I love hunting tree stands. But if I'm hunting with my cameraman or my wife or my daughter or something like that, these are great tools for people that are not comfortable with getting up in a tree like that, okay? Also, another cool thing about these, you have a lot of room to move around. You can get away with a lot of movement, even your scent. These really help hold a lot of your scent versus being out in a tree. But take these into consideration. Uh, again, they have a lot of them on the market. You don't have to get one this big. They got some that are a lot smaller. But this is just the way that I pop mine up. Quick and easy tip about marking your, your roof on these things. And another thing I do, it's twofold. I spray this down real good with bug spray before I ever take it out in the woods. Like with this one, for instance. I'm gonna spray it down here shortly because I'm taking it out in the woods in a few days. So I'm gonna douse this with a lot of bug spray, especially at the top, those critters, uh, you know, different birds, squirrels, spiders, all kind of stuff like to get in here and live and hang out. So the last thing you want to do is get in this thing, old dark 30, and you got a big wasp nest in here. So we spray the roof and the corners of these very, very good with bug spray, or wasp spray or anything like that. Spray, spray, spray. And then once you get it out in the field, go ahead and spray it again. So that's a little tip that I want to share with you guys about more enjoyable hunts when you're in these things. Now, another thing I do is I only leave these out maybe a month or so before the hunting season starts and I take it out immediately after the hunting season shuts down. Now that's going to serve a lot of purposes. These things can get pretty pricey. That preserves the actual life of the blind versus if you leave it out for the whole year or going into the following hunting season. Those UV rays from the sun are going to tear these things up. Your camo is going to fade very quickly. And it's, it's going to wear out very fast. So we don't want that to happen. So I take these up. Another benefit of putting these out a little bit before hunting season starts is your animals get used to seeing these. Like, for instance, I set these out the day that I start my corn feeders. That way, as the deer are coming in to the corn feeders and they see these blinds, they won't get spooked. They're already used to seeing them. You don't want to put these out a day, two or three days, even a week before you go hunting because deer are going to notice these things they're out there 24 7. they know every stick every limb they know everything about the areas that they're constantly traveling so you got to be careful with that get these things out early so they can get comfortable with sand okay another thing i do is old rugs like this got old rug on the range today i'll take these break out all my leaves I put these inside my ground blinds. Now what that's gonna do when I'm hunting, it's gonna serve a few purposes. First of all, it give it a more comfortable feel when you're in there, you know. Especially if you got a heater, it's gonna help kind of hold in that warmth. But another big thing, especially down here in the south where we are early season, bow season, is it gets very, very dry. So this actually helps keeps down that dust. So it's almost a, almost like a homey feel. You can either take your shoes off if you want, you know, get real comfortable in there with these old rugs. So next time you're at the house and you want to throw away your old rugs out the kitchen or the bathroom or something, don't. Keep them for your ground blinds. But again, I just wanted to give y'all a quick video about how I pop up my hub style blinds, okay? I want to thank y'all for tuning in to us here at Team Howard Outdoors. We 
launching this thing um, kind of again. We're calling this Team Howard Outdoors TV. We're going to be doing a lot of stuff. Check your description. Give me some likes. Um, holler at me in the comment section if you want to know some things about this blind and other setups I got in particular. Again, here at Team Howard Outdoors, it's not the hobby, it's a lifestyle.